Welcome back to the channel, Coops. Have you been searching for a rack only to find that it's really gonna blow your budget? By the end of this video, we're gonna show you how we got a custom rack faster than Amazon Prime and all for under the price of a luminous ladder. If we haven't officially met yet, I'm Danny Dukes from the Van Kooks, and make sure you hit that subscribe button and stay a while if you like budget-friendly DIY tips and tricks for your van life. <laughs> Welcome to this Ballin' on a Budget episode where we show you how we got our rack made in Mexico all via Google Translate and all for under the price of one Illuminous ladder. If going down to Mexico isn't on your itinerary but you still want a rack for a budget, we've already made a video here if you want to click on it. It cost us $200 to make it but we have since then outgrown that rack which is why we got this rack built. Getting this adventure rack was an adventure on its own. Our whole journey started off with El Chori when we got our windshield crack replaced. We just wanted him to fix it with a little bit of gel, but he gave us such a good price that we got a new windshield. And he spoke such good English that we were able to ask him things that we wanted to accomplish for pretty cheap in Mexico. And he sent us to one of his friends down the road, La Ardia, and he priced us out and said that he could do it. We went home that night and we drew some pictures of what we wanted. We wrote a couple notes on our drawings so that he was able to understand what we needed. And then when we got there in the morning, he decided that it was too big of a task, I think. So he sent us to his brother and his brother, we spent four hours translating with him through Google Translate exactly what we wanted. And at one point, we had a communication breakdown and luckily there was someone that spoke Spanish and English. So he stopped and he kind of just smoothed it out for us and we walked to the bank and got the money and put down a deposit. The really surprising thing was the speed at which these guys took off and started working once we gave them the money. They just started fabricating the rack and by the end of day one, it was ready for paint the next day. We had sent some pictures to our friends, Adventure Allens, because they were down the street getting an aluminum ladder made, and their aluminum ladder cost $330, and our entire rack system was about to cost $786, which is 15,000 Mexican. Um, so we wanted to make sure that they knew about this so they could save some money, so they came over and got the rest of their rack built the Adventure Allens got a front hitch made, they got their ladder painted, and they got a rack, and they got it painted, all for 13,000 Mexican. So stay tuned to see the final product and all the work that went into it. We're gonna cut to it right now. So this is the guy who's hooking us up with the rack, show you some of his crazy work. He's got these like crazy vehicles here. Here's his, here's his van. He knows about the van life. So yeah, here it is, looking awesome. I was okay. not expecting a almost built rack when we came back. I thought maybe they would just be like, look at all the parts we have. But no. <laughs> okay, we're back at the welder and we're about to get some work done. What are you guys doing on my welder? <laughs> <laughs> Get the hell out of here. Oh, nice. Very tall now. <laughs> That's a bucket. Yeah. <laughs> Busy night here at the uh, Van Kook shop. We got a packed waiting room here. Welcome to the waiting room, also known as the welding lounge. <laughs> With the welding kitty cat. <laughs> it's looking really nice. 
guys are doing an amazing job. Let's start burning the midnight oil. Look, the peanut gallery. You got this in your DIY before I can go to Mexico. <laughs> and then they got this. Yeah, free beers while you wait. Yeah, free beers while you wait in the lounge. Okay, we're back at the shop. Um, we're gonna get the other side done. We're gonna add a few more side rails. They really insist on making our van look epic out here. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get that done. It's about to get washed for the first time in a long time. So let's see how it looks after this. Ooh, she pretty. We're gonna get them some treats and some refreshments because these guys have been busting their butt. We gotta keep the crew stoked. We got the beers. Vibes are high. The rack is complete. It looks pretty amazing. Show you the other side. So we added these. He insisted. He, he, he threw them in there because I brought him some business. So now the Allens are about to get theirs done. They got this aluminum ladder welded already. So the boys over here painted it. And now they're about to start working on their rack. You come down here in Baja, you know where to go. Well, that's a wrap from the uh, garage here, the Van Kooks Van Custom Garage. Pit my van. Uh, we're splitting up with these guys. They're going home. We got cervezas. <laughs> yeah, this is the best shop ever. You guys got to come. The dopest lounge. You got to follow the Adventure Islands as well and see how their rack turns out. So uh, we're going to sign off from here. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how can you not subscribe to that shit? I know. Make sure you come to La Paz and come to this welding shop. Free tecate. <laughs> and they cook your quesadillas. And they cook your quesadillas. Hey. Like a mina. Orale. Hey, this is Exhibit. We out here pipping this van, bro. <laughs> These guys don't want me to leave without the best job. So we got this last second paint job. All right, here's the finished rack. So I got the crash pad, the kayaks, more inflatables, traction mats. And it's so nice because all my surfboards now slide under this solar panel. That was part of our design. It was really crucial for us to have everything fit underneath. So now you can see I got four boards up here, gas, and I still got a little bit of room. And I got Danny over here doing pull-ups. <laughs> so yeah, we're pretty happy with the rack. Some of the paint's a little spotty, but we'll fix that. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching our kooky adventure and this rack adventure. Uh, if you like this kind of content, please comment down below and say what else you want us to do. Comment what you didn't like, what you liked, anything. We'll take it all. And um, make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. We're so excited to be back in America right now because we have a new Sprinter build for you guys. So look out for that content. Hit the bell if you want to see that content when it first drops. And tell your friends, tell your fe fellow kooks if they want to know how to build a van that we are going to show them step by step how to do it in our next build series. So make sure to follow along guys and we'll see you later.